the realm. Do you know what the realm is? It's the thousand blades of Aegon's enemies. A story we agree to tell each other over and over till we forget that it's a lie. What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back from a trailer breakdown video for the Game of Thrones Season 8 finale. It's a little hard to believe we are only days away from watching the very last episode of the series. I know many of you have wondered what I will do after Game of Thrones is over. I will definitely continue to make videos once the show does end. And I do understand that some of you might not want to watch my videos after Game of Thrones is over, but like I said, I want to continue making videos either way. I do want to thank everyone that has supported the channel thus far. But anyways, let's talk about the Season 8 finale. The first thing I want to do is look at the different images from the trailer, then during the second half of the video, I want to talk about the leaks. If you do not want to hear about those, I will let you know when you should turn off the video. These leaks are becoming unavoidable right now because everyone keeps leaving them in the comment section, and I have even seen some other YouTubers make videos about them. So I might as well talk about them since I've already seen them. Now let's look at the images from the final trailer. This begins right where we left off in the last episode. As you all know, Daenerys Targaryen had finally set her sights on King's Landing and the Iron Throne. Cersei Lannister did have the opportunity to surrender before anyone had to die, but she decided to reinforce King's Landing and her army as well. Cersei thought she had a good chance of winning the battle. Daenerys and Jon did lose a lot of their soldiers during the Battle of Winterfell, and not to mention, Danny only had one dragon, so it did seem like Cersei had a chance since she had so many scorpions set up around the city. It did seem like this could be one hell of a final battle, but shortly after it started, it became very obvious that Cersei would not stand a chance. This was about as one-sided as you could get. Daenerys and Drogon could not be stopped. Even after Cersei's men surrendered, Danny and Drogon leveled the entire city, as well as any civilian that could not find stable shelter. It ended up becoming a slaughter. Jon and Tyrion could not believe what they were witnessing as Daenerys and Drogon started to murder thousands of innocent civilians. As you can see by the first image from the new trailer, we can see the aftermath of the battle for King's Landing. It almost looks as if someone set off an atomic bomb. The streets are covered by nothing but skeleton and ash. It looks very similar to a nuclear fallout. There is nothing left, and this just goes to show you what a dragon can actually do. Drogon was able to decimate an entire city, and you have to wonder, where do we go from here? You can see Jon and Davos walking around the street and I'm assuming they are shocked by what is actually left after the battle. These are the kind of images that would haunt you for the rest of your life. Now we all know they have been in battles before, and they even seen the Night King resurrect thousands of dead bodies, but they've never seen anything quite like this. I cannot wait to see what is said to Danny when they finally have a chance to talk. We haven't actually seen Danny's face since the bell started to ring in King's Landing. After she took off on Drogon, we never saw her face again. All we could see was the dragon burning everything in sight. I do wonder how Danny was reacting to the things she was actually doing to all the civilians below her who were running for their lives. We also see Tyrion Lannister walking around the streets of the city. This was once a city that he called home. Now it looks like what can only be described as a living nightmare. The smell of burnt flesh must be heavy in the air, as well as the screams and cries of whoever, if anyone, that were able to survive this devastating attack. I will also be very interested in getting to see what he has to say to Daenerys. In another one of these photos, we can see that the Red Keep was not completely leveled to the ground. It does look like most of the castle is still intact, although we do know the ceiling is gone in some of the areas. This is definitely setting up to be very reminiscent of Daenerys Targaryen's vision at the House of the Undying. This is something I have talked about in many of my other videos before. I always had a feeling that vision could become a reality, but I did not think Daenerys would lay waste to the entire city. I always thought her main focus would be on the Red Keep, since that's where Cersei would most likely try to hide during the battle. We can see the castle again in this image, but this time we can see some of Danny's army right out front, as they are celebrating their victory over Cersei. We can also see Arya Stark as she slowly makes her way to the front of the Red Keep. I'm also very interested in getting to see what Arya Stark does next. As we all know, Daenerys almost killed Arya several times during the attack. Now to be fair, Danny might not have known Arya was down there in the street, but I don't think Arya will give a damn either way. In those moments, Arya became one of the civilians in King's Landing. She even tried to help a mother and her child during the attack, and unfortunately, Arya had a front row seat at just how relentless Danny was during the battle. Arya already told Jon that she did not trust Danny, so I can't wait to see what she thinks of her now. I would like to think Arya will want to see her dead. Some fans say that it will even be Arya who kills Daenerys Targaryen. 
Now, obviously, I do not know for a fact if it will be Arya that kills Danny, but I think it's safe to assume that she might want to. Go ahead and take a look at Arya's face. I'm guessing she is looking right through Danny as she walks back out of the Red Keep. I can only imagine what kind of dark thoughts are running through Arya's head. The only thing that makes me think Arya will not kill Danny is because of what Sandor Clegane said to her during their final conversation. He tried to make Arya come to the realization that she doesn't want to become him. Arya should not live her entire life where she is basically only motivated by getting her revenge. Not to mention, I don't think Arya will have to be the one to kill Danny because I am confident there will be several other characters that want to see her dead. Either way, I do want to hear what Arya has to say. Most of the other characters who were here for the battle either died in the Red Keep or they got out of the city before Danny ended up killing them. Arya is the one character we know was nearly killed by Drogon on several different occasions. I would like to see Arya say something about this to Jon as well. I would like to see Jon's reaction after Arya tells him how Danny almost killed her in the attack. We can also see Tyrion Lannister looking at someone or something. This could also be when Daenerys is walking back out of the Red Keep. It's obvious he is not happy by the decision Danny made. We know that she did agree to stop the attack as soon as the bell started to ring. Will he continue to stand by Danny's side after she done something like that? We also have to see what Danny says to Tyrion. It's only a matter of time before she finds out that he was the one that let Jamie out of the chains. She did tell him he would no longer be getting any second chances. So he might be mad at her, but she will also be mad at him. And by the looks of the city, I doubt Tyrion is as mad as Danny. He could become the next character who gets executed by Danny and Drogon, but we shall see. These other images are basically just the Unsullied standing in formation and the Dothraki celebrating their victory. The last image is somewhat disturbing. The city is essentially gone, and Daenerys is walking out to address her soldiers and maybe even a few survivors from the attack. There is something about this image that makes me think Danny will be very happy about what she had just done. She always wanted the Iron Throne, and now she has it. Now she has to ask herself, was it worth it? Once again, I am very interested in getting to hear what Danny has to say. I wonder if she will try to justify her actions, or if she will show any remorse to the civilians that died. Considering what she has done, it's hard to see how Daenerys can have any type of happy ending after this. Now that Danny has shown herself to be extremely unstable, I don't see how anyone can continue to allow her and Drogon to be together. They make for one hell of a dangerous and deadly combination. One of them, if not both of them, will have to die. There is no way you would be able to guarantee this would not happen again if you let them live together. That would be like letting a mass shooter keep their gun. It would only be like a matter of time before they would end up doing it again. Now I want to move on to the leaks. Like I said, if you do not want to know how it actually ends, I will turn off the video right now. So far, whoever let out the information has been incredibly accurate. I will leave the link in the description on my video in case any of you want to go and read it on your own. As far as I can tell, this seems to be a legitimate leak from an inside source. I say that because they even knew some of the small details that no one would have guessed on their own. For instance, they knew that the Night King's dragon would have a blue flame coming out the side of its neck after it was injured. They knew Sandor Clegane would stab his brother right in the eye. They knew Arya would be running around the streets of King's Landing trying to hide from the dragon. These are the kind of details that none of us have been guessing. I've been making videos for a long time, and so have some other Game of Thrones YouTubers, and none of us have seen anyone making these kind of guesses before the episodes came out. So, like I said, this leak seems to be extremely accurate. Alright, so in the final episode, we should see Danny give a speech at some time. This might be what we're about to see in the new trailer. It does seem like that is what Danny is about to do. Whatever she says will make some of the other characters very angry. Danny will want to go all over liberating slaves from their masters by burning down other cities. It sounds like King's Landing might only be the beginning of what Danny now wants to do. They say that Tyrion will be very upset, so he takes off his hand to the Queen Pen and he throws it down on the ground. Danny will have him arrested, and she will also want him to be executed for letting Jamie go free. Now, it doesn't say if this next thing happens before or after he is arrested, but he will eventually try to convince Jon that he and his family will no longer be safe since his claim is a threat for the Iron Throne. Basically, as long as Danny is alive, Jon and his family will not be safe now that Danny is killing anyone she thinks is a threat. It doesn't actually say if Danny sits on the Iron Throne or not, but it does say she gets to see it. That seems about right, since the Red Keep wasn't completely knocked down. It also looks like Danny is walking back outside in that scene, so my guess is that's where she was coming from. 
maybe she walks up to it and turns around like we saw in the vision. It does say the Iron Throne will be melted down by the dragon. Before that happens, it also says Jon and Arya will have a conversation right in front of the Iron Throne. We know that Jon and Arya are still in this city, and we even seen Arya right in front of the Red Keep, so this does seem like it could happen. Maybe Arya says something to Jon about Danny, further convincing him that Danny will need to be dealt with. Although, I'm sure Jon already knows that. Then it says Jon will try to talk to Danny, but she will only justify all of her actions. When Jon realizes there is no stop in Danny, he will get close enough to stab her with his sword. So it looks like Jon will be the one to kill Danny. Not only because he was horrified by what Danny had done to King's Landing, but also because she continues to say that she is not done. Like I said, she wants to go to other cities and basically do the same thing. So after Jon kills Danny, he will leave King's Landing and live out the rest of his life in the North. This indicates that Jon will go back to Castle Black. This may have even been foreshadowed when Jon and Tormund last spoke. Not to mention, that is where Jon sent ghosts, so maybe they will be reunited in the end. It says the reason why Jon decides to do this is because it will give up his claim to the Iron Throne. Essentially, it will be exactly like what Maester Aemon did when he was in line for the Iron Throne. Maester Aemon even said that story to Jon Snow, so that may have been foreshadowing all the way back in the first season. Now that Danny is dead and Jon is out of the way, the other characters will be left to decide how things are operated from here on out. It says that Bran Stark will become the next king of Westeros. Then characters like Sansa, Davos, Sam, and maybe some others will be on his council. It says the Unsullied will leave to go back across the Narrow Sea to start liberating slave cities because that's what Danny wanted right before she was killed. One of the biggest scenes from the episode will be when Tyrion Lannister is on trial at the Dragon Pit. There will be a lot of other characters there during this scene. It says Jon and Danny are not there, most likely because Danny is dead and Jon has already went to the north. Bran Stark will do the same thing that he did to Littlefinger. He knows that Tyrion once said he will never bet against his family. Once a Lannister, always a Lannister. It says he will be executed, but since this scene was shot inside of the studio, they do not know exactly how he dies. Arya Stark will leave King's Landing, most likely never to be seen again. So, this looks like this is how the season will come to an end. Since they had basically everything else right, I will assume this is right as well. Let me know what you think will happen in the finale. Leave your thoughts down below. Anyways, I want to thank you all for watching the video, and I also want to thank everyone for supporting the channel. I hope you have a great day. I will see you again very soon. Bye.